Hi everybody. It's the butterfly dress. I know. What's with all the prints and flowers? Well, believe it or not, all this stuff is back in for spring and for summer. And this is the craziest dress I've ever bought in my life. <clears throat> and I thought, mm, I don't know. But I'd show it to you anyway. It's strapless. Let me turn around. And you can see the back. And notice that it has slits on each side. And then down from the hips, it has these big roses and then it has these streamers. Personally, I think these could be long gone, but <clears throat> I've looked at the dress and figured out that if I cut them off, I'll have a great big hole in the dress. And then let me show you this. See how this is kind of knotted here? Well, this is what it, how it showed up. <laughs> it's all the way down to the floor and then some. <laughs> so that definitely has to get something done to it. But I thought, well, it's in the spirit of spring. And I saw my first monarch butterfly the other day. Um, what you might not know about me is that last year, I made an attempt to raise monarch butterflies. And I don't know whether y'all are aware of this or not. They're disappearing. Pesticides, climate. There's a lot of reasons that they're dying out. And they are a pollinator, which means crops, vegetables, fruits, all of those things need to be pollinated carry the pollen from one plant to the other and then the fruit or the vegetable can develop. And without these insects, we're gonna be in a heap of trouble. But we all go along our merry way. You know, we worry about dancing with the stars. We worry about politics. We think about all these things that really, in the end, aren't gonna save the planet. I am not what you would call a tree hugger. But I made this attempt last year to, to uh, raise the monarchs and there were several of them around. I had this great big huge milkweed plant which they love to feed on in, in a pot. And then I noticed if you watch when you see them around, you look at the plant and you'll see these little tiny specks on the plant. And those are eggs. So you keep an eye on them and within a very few days there's a little teeny tiny caterpillar that starts munching on the leaves of the plant. So what I did was I surrounded the whole pot with screening. And then I put scarves over the top to keep the predators out, like the little frogs and the little lizards, because what a tasty meal that would be, a monarch caterpillar. Well, I wasn't totally successful in keeping them all away from the prey, but I was successful to have them go to the pupae stage and then hatch. And I actually got to see one right after it came out and they just kind of like this, you know, until their wings dry, took the top off and out they flittered away. So as far as I know, I saw two come to pupa stage and then hatches butterflies. But this year, I've only had one. And he was about that big before something got him, a bird, a caterpillar. And I didn't want to go through that screening process again because it scratched the daylights out of my arms. And if you haven't noticed, I have very, very sensitive skin. So I'm just gonna leave the milkweed plant out there and maybe they can stop by and sip the nectar and go put their eggs someplace else. So say a little prayer for the monarch. I hope this dress will remind you that we have to be kind to the insects and the pollinators too. Have a fabulous day and I hope you remember Annika in her butterfly dress. Namaste.